Hey guys, uh, welcome back, Black Spruce Country. Today we're on a hike on the way down to my uh, off-grid log cabin. It's a fair distance, but uh, we got all day. It's a beautiful day. And as you can see from the, uh, the road, no snowmobile, no side-by-side. -side. We're not gonna get very far, so. Want to get out today, beautiful day, enjoy today. So we're just uh, getting our exercise. We're we'll gonna go down, put a fire on, and cook up another treat. So stay tuned, you'll see what I'm gonna cook up today. Something different, but it involves moose again. So I got about, uh, oh, about an hour hours hike hour and a bit I guess so uh, yeah stand by and you'll see what we're gonna cook up today In 20 minutes, I am puckered out. Well, just got here, guys, and uh, nice refreshing walk. I got my fire going, got my ingredients. See if you can guess it again. Cheese, potatoes, moose, ground beef, gravy, oil. Stay tuned. Hey, Jola. Hey, buddy. Are you happy at the cabin? Good girl. Good girl. First job I got to do this spring. I got the front chinking done. And the side started here. I got to finish the chinking on the camp. So I got the front and this much done. I got the, the back and the other side to do as well. So, and it held out pretty good. Dried really good, it held up to the cold temperatures and it, it stuck on to that uh, chicken wire really good. So I think we're good here with this. 
So that's a project, one of my first projects I have to do here. You know what, it's a beautiful day. I was going to cook inside, but I think I'm going to make a fire here and cook outside today, guys. How you doing, buddy? I know. How you doing, buddy? Are you happy at the cabin? Hey, yes, I know. Now, we got to make a spot for her. Wind. Wind. Blow my matches out. Fire going, guys. I'll let that burn down now. Ugh. In my eyes. I'll go inside now and prepare prepare the meal. So I'll give it about 20 minutes to a half hour. That should be nice and hot right there. This is a, the shelter I used when I was building my camp. Pretty crude, but it was like three years ago now, still holding up. So I just Slabs from the sawmill just threw it in there, great stuff to burn and gives off a lot of heat.
Everybody figure out what I'm making yet? Anyway, I think it's a Canadian thing. Poutine. Moose poutine to be exact. With uh, moose ground meat. I don't think do you guys in the States have it or not. I could be wrong. I think it's a Canadian thing. So comment and let me know. And it's originated in the province of Quebec. Poutine, Putin. I think they pronounce it Putin. It's a Quebec word. And I think it means fries and cheese. I'm not sure. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. But uh, it's really good. Not healthy, but it's a treat. My wife sells it at her restaurant, and uh, it's a big, big hit. Get my fries cut up. The trick to having good fries. Uh, you need to get the starch off it, so you soak it in water. Some people use sugar water, but uh, I think this is fine for now. Just uh, soak the starch off it, and when you go to put it in the oil, it makes the fries that much more crispier. But you need to get the starch off it. So I'll let that soak for a wee bit. Can't use too much water, i got to save some for tea. Okay, as long as I got a cup there. <clears throat> so we'll let that soak a bit. We'll throw the peels outside to feed the critters. Rabbits love the potato peels and squirrels. Fire's doing good. proper curds that came from a, a local cheese plant actually they donated it to my uh, wife's restaurant she sells it every now and then for them I think that should be enough get some for the doggies
guys are fries are almost on there now. I'm gonna put this here back on and warm it up. And we're gonna add some gravy to that. Okay, folks, we are done. Fries are cooked. Like that, a bit of cheese curds. And a little bit of a gravy and meat on top of that again to melt the cheese. There you go. Well, here it is, guys. Poutine, mousse poutine. Let's see what it tastes like now. But, uh, come on, that won't stay going. Really good, as usual. Fries are crispy. I like the meat just a little bit uh, crispy, like that. Makes a nice taste to it. But that's great. This lamp won't stay going. Perfect. You may notice this new hat I'm wearing. It's from my Bob friend, uh, my friend Bob, I should say. Newfoundland Outsider. He had these hats made up. He gave it to a, gave a couple to me. And I believe I got a sticker too I'm going to put on the window as well. And uh, where is that? Somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Newfoundland Outsider. So I think what I'm going to do with that is just put this, see if I can get this camera up here. That's going to go right here. There you go, Bob. Aren't you special? Cool. Doesn't live too far from me, and uh, he's been at this a long time. And when I started out, he gave me some tips. I guess you, I guess you can call him mentor, a mentor. But on this YouTube journey I'm doing, he gave me some pointers and some tips. So I appreciate it, Bob, and I appreciate the hat. Thanks, bud. Now I got to eat. Mm.
Yeah, I'm going to eat in peace. Leave me alone. Well, guys, that was a great meal. A cup of tea now and a donut. No fancy dessert today, but this, this is it. It was a great meal. I only ate about, I don't know, not even half of it. The dogs finished it off. I didn't realize I had so much there. But uh, some sad news today. seen in my last video. My uh, King Shepherd rider. He was in pretty bad shape and uh, unfortunately he had another stroke and uh, he didn't survive. So, uh, he had a good life. I had him for 12 years. But you get attached to your animals. They become like your kids. You know, you know I know he was old. 12 years is, is a long time for a big dog. That's only got about a 9, 10 year lifespan. But, uh, we were blessed to have him and my other shepherd, Sophie. She wouldn't come down today. She's, she's been really depressed since uh, Ryder passed away. And so, uh, anyway, he's in a better place. This uh, video is dedicated to my buddy. Anyway, thanks for coming along today. I appreciate it. If you like it, thumbs up. If not, don't watch it. I appreciate, uh, and after getting a lot of subscribers in the last, I don't know, a month, I guess. It's a third of what I had totally. But uh, I appreciate it, guys. And uh, like I say, like, subscribe. Until next time, take care. God bless. Come on, guys. Let's back up the home.